Hello and welcome back to Marvel Love Alternative. Last time we got off of Takemi Kizuchi's new news, and there was a big catalyzing character development moment for Maya. Everyone was good, it was awesome, and now I got to tell you about it. Tanitsu Kiyomi said she'd probably be executed if we failed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so very true. <laughs> right, of course you are. Absolutely. Out of all the TSFs with the XM3 installed, their Takami Kazuchis are in the best condition. Oh, you could have. Wait, but don't you need permission from the Empire to use the Royal Guard's TSFs? Ah, okay. Oh, car. Great. Alright, I remember she said something like that before. Right. Even if their movement data syncs up instantly through the data links, the Takumi Kizuchis uh, are a hundred times better than a Shura Nui, too. Hmm. <sighs> when you keep thinking of things in this perspective, I don't know, I feel as though your perspective on reality is starting to become a notch warped, I'm just saying. It is the truth, to an extent. And it's something that matters a great deal in this world, I know that by now. <laughs> so why does it feel so wrong to hear talk about it like this? It's not like the thought isn't encouraging, in a sense. It's probably just... I'm probably just being a hypocrite again, but when Sensei praises them for this, it almost feels like she's calling everyone we've lost a, a failure. <sighs> anyway, Sensei, do we have the time to switch the purple one over to the XM3? Ooh, Anita. Wait, you did? <laughs> nice. I see. Well, I guess so, yeah. Okay, can you just shut up? But we still need to get the f uh, familiar with the TSF. Uh, she'll still need to get familiar with the TSF, won't she? Look, I get this is a desperate situation. It's natural you start thinking like that, but I really don't want to hear it right now. But it's insanely, it's an insanely high-performance DSM. Even if she can technically pilot it, a day won't be nearly enough to get used to all of its little kinks. Uh, well, if you say so. By the way, I want to ask you something about the briefing. Okay, sorry, so it's just, uh, I was kind of surprised to hear Samika help with the, uh, plan the operation is all. Hmm. Hmm? So she wants to do, so she still hasn't gotten out of that mindset. To just let to just dismiss everyone else and do everything she possibly can on her own. Hmm. You mean she? She didn't want to get everyone else involved. 
<laughs> I didn't know she had that much of a say in it. Okay, okay. But in that case, what is he in such a hurry for? Hey, Sensei, I understand having our information leaked to the beta makes everything more urgent, but... Why is she rushing this much? If Operation Cherry Blossom is a mission we can't afford to fail, then... Wouldn't it make sense to take our time so we'd be better, uh, better prepared for it? Every other country is preparing to attack the other hives. You've got to fix up the Susanoo. A day or two can make all the difference on both counts. Even for us, getting the Sakami Kutsuchi is just dumb luck. The regional plan said we have to do with what uh, do with. We'd have to do it with whatever we had. I get there's a lot of risk that we can't just do anything about, but why does Mika want to make this hard on everyone in our unit? If we could just have one more day, our chance of success would be way higher, and Operation Trident could totally... Yeah, she's looking off like an idiot. Okay. I guess, but... It's just too extreme. I mean, it's not like dropping all those G-bombs is going to do wonders for our future as a species. Yeah, but one day. It's not like we're going after it as absolutely as fast as we can. Add another 12 hours onto there, even. Would that make a difference? Because if we're just betting on whether they'll have it in the first place, you're already setting an arbitrary 30 hours till we get going. Why is 42 that much different? It's still arbitrary, you're still just taking the risk, but it can make all the difference. And it can make all the difference on their side too, but still, I'm just saying. I guess. But that's the only thing you care about. Wait, until yesterday. What? So America knows that our information might have been leaked to the beta? But, if Samika. Honestly. A little bit of a little bit of that, a little bit of this. Hmm. That's no, I wasn't thinking that at all. We are I don't think it was ever about self-interest. I think it's just how you tend to work. You tend to be very like, let's do this our way or the highway, that sort of stuff. Let's sort of ignore what other people want to do. Let's manipulate them to how uh, to try to save everyone or do th like save everyone in my way, that sort of thing. I know, I know. <laughs> If that's the case, then there's a chance America might just start dropping G-bombs on your age without warning. So the reason we're rushing this plan so much is because uh, both the beta and because we're scared the Americans might take matters into their own hands. Hmm. What, you think they can make them inert? Oh god, she's right. The Morcock drive? Uh, the Morcock electric engine? The Zero Zero Unit Quantum Conductor Brain? They're all made using beta's materials. If they find out about buff white particles, we wouldn't be able to read them either. <sighs> you say that. But again, 6, 12, 
hours can make all the difference. Our current date of doing things is still really, really arbitrary. 30 hours. We have, we, all we know is that it happens quicker. I mean, what we know is that everyone else learns it in 16 days once they know everything is good. They'll, like, beta test... To, uh, yeah, they'll do testing phases up to that 16 days and they already have the information and stuff like that, but we have absolutely... Do, you didn't say anything about how long it takes for them to actually get that information and have any strategies in place that could be used possibly somewhere or whether they even be capable of using it. It's still an arbitrary, random... The, the 30 hours is so ran, like arbitrary at this point. I'm, I'm just saying. It just seems so random. I mean, it's basically how fast can we get this started? Sure, but you're still taking the risk by taking that time to get it ready. Taking another 12 hours to get things ready better. Is that really going to make all the difference in the world? It could, but the 30, I, the 30 hours could not be enough at that point and, as well. And the 42 hours or 50 hours or whatever could be just as good as the 30 hours. I'm just... I'm just saying. It's so arbitrary is basically what it comes down to. I'm sorry, I just didn't connect. God damn it, she told me all this because I needed to know, and I, but I couldn't even... Yeah. Uh, they could start doing that. Yeah, you said they might have been hiding them somewhere. Okay. Hmm. You mean just on Earth, right? Hmm. Really, then? Back then, I'd never seen anything like the Suzunowo or Samika's abilities before. I told myself that, even if they had weapons like those, we just have to find a way to keep fighting. They hadn't used anything like that in over 30 years of this war, so I thought it was just hypothetical. I could, I can really dismiss the idea. But now I know better. If it actually comes to that, there'd be no hope left for humanity. If they're capable of interstellar flight, they can make G elements. When push comes to shove, the Beta have technology that far surpasses our own. If they use that technology to make weapons like our, uh, our Susanoo, humanity would be wiped out in an instant. I can't let that happen. I have to put an end to it this time. Everything. I'm not going to start things over from scratch again, damn it. Why we have to hurry still... I still feel it's extremely arbitrary. I still feel this the entire concept of having to do it in this much hours, and we can't spend enough time to get a little bit more prepared, a little bit more prepared. I know there's a slippery slope there. It's like, oh, we can get a little bit more prepared. Oh, we can get a little bit more, a little bit more prepared. But even... I feel as though you could set some key, key parts of the project, as in basically the Susanoo, to get that up to better snuff than it could be, and set that time limit as your base one, rather than this arbitrary 30, um, which feels like it's almost designed for how quickly can everyone get ready to go, basically, uh, basically. Or, or what is the quickest time we could have everyone ready to go, and all that stuff. Yeah, I, I get the idea. Not really convinced, though. Ah, great. Okay. Two whole hours at a time like this. I'm going to finish as soon as I can. Okay. Alright, um, Sensei, um. Please. Please take care of the Susan Owell. Right. Yane. Okay. <laughs> Shit, she had that. Oh. She had a dream. If the reactor is a communications device, then it would be possible. 
It would at least be theoretically possible that they could have communicated to her brain. Maybe they detected her as a life form, and they detected her in the base and sent her a message of some sort. Oh, what was her dream like? That's going to be really, really, really important. I bet it was the dream more than anything. But, uh, and we're just sort of assuming everything else around it caused it to degrade so much. Shit. Okay. I know. As I okay. Okay. Gotcha. She looked like she was in a lot of pain after she collapsed during Operation 21st. It took a long time for her to recover, but her personality was way more uh, stable afterwards. Yeah, you're right. Okay. I'm gonna get going now. I haven't talked to Samika. Yeah, that was still a two-seater, so I'm not really sure how this is going to work, but okay. Uh, why can me first? Linking me? Oh, okay. Makes sense. Sorry for taking so much of your time. See you. Okay. I can finally see how Samika and Kasumi are, uh, uh, Sumi are holding up. I keep hearing how they were. I kept hearing how they were doing fine, but I can't really relax until I see for myself. Especially Samika, since she was uh, she went into safe mode before the base was attacked. Based on what uh, Yuko since I said on like last time, the reason to her ODL depleted so quickly was related to her making positive progress. She managed to recover quickly enough that she was able to help plan this operation. So, at least on a rational level, I know she has to be okay. Ah, uh, Kasumi? Uh, I'm back. I knew she was already safe, but seeing her in the flesh like this is definitely kind of reassuring. Still, she looks pretty tired. She had a lot to take care of. Uh, she had to take care of Samika all on her own during such a horrible battle. Hmm? For what? Oh, yeah, I'm glad that you made it safe, too. Huh? That's not true. You're right by Samika's side, right? You did the only job you could do. That's what matters, not how big or small the job was. Right, the job only you could do. That's right. I mean, sure. Anybody could have uh, just stood around keeping an eye on her. Right. You told me that too, didn't you? Before. I, rem I remember making a... And maybe not job, not phrased exactly like that, but the, the things only you can do. I think I even named an episode after it. It was such a nice line. Uh, but the only person I want by her side is the girl who's uh, always been with her. Even when she was nothing more than just a brain. We're always there with her in that dark room. You suffered in silence in the depths of the space long before I was exposed to uh, any real action. And even before you came here, you carried out your duties no matter how painful they may have been. Maybe it was part of your mission. The way I see it, and I think I'm speaking for Samika too, nothing's more reassuring than having you at our side. Your companion, our friend, our confidant. Choose whatever word you want. To us, you're completely irreplaceable. Kasumi's created as part of Alternative 3 as a kind of weapon before being sent here. She never experienced any real joy in her entire life. I'm sure it was hard on her to have read all those, all those horrible, violent thoughts that Mika had every day. And yet, on top of all that, now we have to drag you onto the battlefield. And I've accepted that, for the sake of my objective. Forgive me, Kasumi. I know I just told you that you're uh, irreplaceable to us, but I'm still using you for my own purposes. I've accepted that there's no way around taking you uh, with us for Operation Cherry Blossom. I'm sorry. What I'm doing now is no different for, uh, than what people in Alternative 3 did to her. But 
私は嬉しいです、うん、私の兄弟や姉妹たちもそうやって人類のために戦ったんです皆さんと一緒に戦えるのは嬉しいですすめ私がスサノオに乗るのは私が必要とされているからですそして白金さんがそれを受け入れたのはそれが私にしかできないことだからです At this point, with the telepathy thing being very rare, quite literally. Yeah, I did. That's great. Sumi, you're. 私の兄弟や姉妹たちがそうしたように白金さんや皆さんと一緒に戦いたい命があれば良いという単純な問題ではない生きているのと生かされているのとではまるで違うそこに自分の意思があるかどうかが問題なのだそれが反映できるかどうかが問題なのだ This is amazing Kasumi's expressing a will of her own. Suzumi and Chui got Shigan Suru no Mita Toki ni Kanjita Kimochi. Oh, right, when she volunteered to, you know. Arega Urayamashi te yu Kimochi da tan desne. Kasumi. Kore de mo Minasan mi okura na kute in desne. Nani mo sezu Tada mate iru da ke na no wa Mo iya des. Kanashi na kokoro mi tuzukeru da ke na no wa Mo iya des. Hmm. Kasumi's changing so much. Now that I think about it, she's been acting and talking more and more like a normal person lately. Maybe I just didn't notice because we spent so much time together focusing on tuning Samika. But compared to the way she was in the previous loop when I first came back, or when I first came back, there is a huge difference. Hmm? You really don't have to thank me for that. Sumi? Fulfillment, maybe? Happiness. That's not foreboding. Hmm? So Kasumi's trying to do something of her own free will for the very first time. It's not because this is what she was made for or because someone ordered her to do it. It's because she knows that we need her help. I think Kasumi's found both a personal reason and a broader reason to fight and her own pillar of strength to lean on. From our perspective, it might look like she's taking a pretty small step forward. The rest of us have already endured hopelessness, suffering, countless beatdowns by reality. Finding her motivation was only the first step on our journey. But for her whole life, Kasumi's been exposed to people's unfiltered feelings of sadness, hatred, loneliness, and despair. And she still managed to find a meaning to her existence. To find happiness in the role she was given. Now I feel... Like I've had it pretty good all along. Ah, oh, I need to start beating up on myself again. Sorry, I, I, I haven't... Beat up on myself in the last five minutes. I gotta get there. Shirogane san. Hmm? Sumika san ga matte imasu. Hayaku itte agete kudasai. Ah, yeah. I came here to train uh, with the Suzunoa's controls. Ah, wait, I almost forgot to pass along Yuku Sensei's message. Oh, by the way, Yuku Sensei wants you to uh, see her in uh, Hangar 90. She said you need to do some calibration on your control seat first. Hai. Wakarimashita. Ah, Kasumi? Let's save humanity together. Hi. Yeah. Samika. Samika. Ah, <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, we've used this uh shot quite a few times with different clothing and whatnot. How are you feeling? Are you sure you're okay? Great. That's that's great. Oh, it's okay, it's okay. Samika. Hmm? 
Wait, uh, uh, what's wrong? Huh? What happened? Are you feeling okay? I didn't get like a boner, did I? Samiga? Uh, what is it? Hmm? Um, what? <laughs> Embarrassed about what? Yeah, 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 yeah. Didn't even really think about that. Huh? <laughs> Dude, you can't scare me like that. Oh, I could have sworn you were going to pass out or something again. Oh, my. Besides, what's wrong with a little hug? It came to both of us naturally. <laughs> uh, it just means we are happy to see each other safe and sound, right? Besides, hugs nothing compared to the stuff we did on uh, the other t <laughs> Oh god, you have really good drill monkey punch reaction time. Ah! Impossible. After all my training, she can still take me down. No. No, zero zero unit. Oh god, we're back to the old dynamic. No. Ah. Ah. Oh. <laughs> oh, I get it. I get it. I already said I was sorry. What the hell, man? I didn't even flinch when I took that drill Mickey punch in the other world. Dear god, what awesome power! Zero Zero Unit is truly a force to be reckoned with. Oh god. Oh jeez. Captain Asumi told me pretty much the same thing, didn't she? I'm sorry, Captain. I, I guess I have a long way uh, to... From, I'm still a long way from fulfilling my promise to you. Uh. <laughs> oh, it's been a while. What is there to believe? I'm pretty much the worst, right? Let's think positively. That means there's nowhere to go but up. <laughs> you know what? Let's just agree I don't get it and start training to uh, control the Susanoa. You can tell me all about the way women think after that. Sound good? Mm -hmm. uh, you're supposed to teach me how to pilot the Susanoa. Didn't you could sense tell you that? Huh. But she told me I had to spend the next two hours on it. Huh. Come on, don't tell me you're so mad at me. Hmm. Well, I guess... I guess you wouldn't. Hmm. Well... Okay. Wait, they are? Maybe you could sense he just assumed wrong then. So is this just supposed to be alone time for us? Is that what this really is? Huh. Huh? Coming to the realization? What's wrong? Why do you get all quiet? Uh, 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 did you realize something wrong, or did you come to the realization that I might have just thought of myself? Well, okay. I guess I'll just have to try it out in the simulator then? Hmm. I've got to try piloting myself so I can get a feel for the size of it and its quirks. But if that's for later, we've actually got some free time now. What should we do now? I'd feel pretty awkward sitting around doing nothing for the next two hours. But the rest of the squad is transferring their control units and consuming adjustments are probably going to take a long time too. So what can I do? Hmm, what's up? I mean, that would be good, right? 
Yeah, that's a good idea. But um, aren't you? Maybe, possibly. Oh yeah, that doesn't make sense. You're right. That might be what she was talking about. Since I did say that she was uh, being stretched pretty thin, she probably just didn't bother making it uh, easier for me to understand. Uh, no. Something's not lining up here. Hmm. Yeah, there's no way Sensei would mess up something this basic. I agree with that. I mean, she might. She did say that she overlooked something she thought was pretty obvious. But I mean... But that's overlooking it. That's a bit different than getting something outright wrong. Alright, then. Let's do it. As for where... Oh, Sensei said it didn't matter where we did it. So why don't you just use the sofa? <laughs> Do I need to say it? Now that I think about it, she was talking about how she was at 80%, right? <laughs> hey, Samika, I'm pretty sure I know what she wanted. Samiya, seriously, what's up? Ah, okay, I'm fine with that. <laughs> well, I assume she meant anywhere on the base. Hmm, I mean, that's a bit... public. Maybe, maybe I'm making assumptions now. <laughs> maybe me and my perverted mind is making assumptions. <laughs> Ah, uh, you mean the hill behind the school building? I hope that hill's still intact. Because, damn, I can imagine the beta wrecking that place. True enough, uh, the perimeter should be even more heavily guarded now, so it should be perfectly safe. But, do you think it's still there? Alright, sounds good. I'm uh, pretty curious to see it, uh, if it's okay myself. It was out of the way of the main beta force in the Ultimate Iron Strike Zone, so it should be fine, but it's kind of hard to say. I'm also worried about the cherry blossom trees in front of the main gate. I can see if they're alright while we're at it. I mean, that's the only place where I can see the people I learned so much from, and the people who know that I lived in this world. The only place I can see the people who know I lived here. That's a weird thought. That's a very weird thought. Samika? Can we... Take a little detour before we go? Uh, this is way out of the ways. She's been like this for over ten minutes now. She hasn't tried to go in or even move towards it. She's just silently standing there, a short distance away from it. She probably already saw an image of this in my thoughts before we blocked her uh, from reading them. But it's completely different se than seeing the real thing for yourself. I have no idea how she's going to take it. But regardless, I still wanted to bring her here. Samika's mom and dad, my parents, and the tiger who belonged in this world. Everyone who knew her when she was still human is gone. This broken down old house is the only proof that Samika ever truly lived in this world. It's where the TSF is, too, isn't it? Since I came from uh, another world, there's no proof I even existed here. At the very least, I have the cherry blossom trees. And when I go there, I can see everyone who's gone before me. All the people who know that I lived in this world. I'll listen to all my worries and complaints, too. And the only reason I'm the person I am today is because of that. It's because they live their lives to their fullest. And I want to live in a way that won't bring shame to their names. I can find that determination I need to go forward when I go there. I think this place is a little similar for Samika. 
It's the only place where she can talk to her parents and the version of me that lived in this world. Of course, she can speak to them in her thoughts whenever she wants to. But I think she needed something more concrete to remember them by. Sort of like seeing the Zero Zero unit for the first time brought back memories of the girl I loved. There's no denying that she's the Zero Zero unit. And I'm not going to print... And I'm not going to pretend she isn't. I've come to accept it. It's also a fact that she's still human at heart. I know she's doing her best to hide it, but I'm certain she has weaknesses like any other human does. You know, like lying. I think she's trying not to bother me with them. So she can... So she needs somewhere she can direct those feelings towards instead. I mean, any human, any human being would. You okay? Smika? We want to hug now? You want to hug? I, if I was Sakura in this situation, I'd just offer a short hug. Alright. Let's go now. Thank goodness. She looks pretty calm. I hope that means she feels a little bit better now. Hmm? What is it? Oh, yeah, don't mention it. I sort of want to go inside and see if anything's changed, you know, just in case. Maybe possibly. <sighs> okay. Oh. Okay, well, that explains why it's a two suitor. Simic's right. control Yun is being connected directly to the escape shuttle this time, huh? <laughs> is that because of what happened during Operation 21st? So that's how they're doing it. I was really wondering how the heck they were going to squeeze three people into a two seater. Okay, so it's me and Kasumi sitting in the two-seater. That makes a lot more sense. Oh, they're all assholes. How was I supposed to know? I bet you anyone would have thought the same thing. I bet the unit would have. She brought up a diagram of a two-seater and said three people were sitting, and I'm surprised no one asked any questions. Oh, what did you say? <laughs> ah, fine. You can think however you want of me. <laughs> oh my. It doesn't feel like she's forcing herself to be this way. She's acting so normal. It's almost like she's exactly like this to make it from my world. The two of us just having a regular conversation. The fact that she's a zero zero unit doesn't even feel relevant. We're so relaxed right now. It's almost like the base is fine and there's no operation tomorrow. It's like we're in a world where the beta don't even exist. I guess it's a good thing I brought her back to her house. <laughs> what do you take me for, a five-year-old? I'm a grown man, you hear me? Oh, you have not met very many insecure grown men, then. <laughs> boy, boy, it has been forever since I heard that. <laughs> Don't worry, you're already stupid. There's no way you could get any dumber than you already are, so that's not a problem. You're the biggest idiot more modern science could produce. <laughs> Why are you, Kosensei? Hmm? Huh? How did this get from Yuka Sensei to this? Is this gonna make it up to her? Oh, I should I should go ask her. How dare I? Fine. Oh, happy. <laughs> uh, yeah, I've always liked those interactions. I do wish there were more of them. You're the one who told me you wanted to hold hands. Are you really going to be nervous about holding hands after we did you-know-what? Whoopie on the whoopie-whoop. 
Come on, quit blushing. You're starting to make me feel self-conscious too. So is this what you gained this time you uh, had your safe mode stuff? You regained the part of hum humanity that made you feel shame again. <laughs> okay, then let's stop holding hands. <laughs> then quit getting embarrassed. <laughs> I guess I can't be too upset. No matter how many times you've done it before, it's always embarrassing to do stuff like this at first. We might have memories of it happening in different worlds, but it feels like this is the first time either of us have ever done this. I mean, we're already gone. Uh, we've already gone the way. Uh, we've already gone the way, and we don't know. Uh, and we know how much we care about each other. But doesn't make something as simple as holding hands any less meaningful. Jeez, you're hopeless. You know that. Uh, just holding hands like this isn't really each other's warmth. Such an amazing feeling. There's no greater happiness than feeling the warmth of another person and reveling in the fact that we're alive. Samika already knows that, and so do I. But more than I ever hoped I would. Ah, hey, it's the Santa Rabbit. I didn't think it would, but it does make me feel better just seeing her carry it around. Hey, have you been carrying that with you all this time? I had no idea. It's not very durable. If you can carry it, uh, if you carry it everywhere, you'll break it. I'm happy as long as you have it, so you don't need to keep it on you 24-7, okay? I don't mind, as long as you don't try and throw it back at me again. Can't what? Do you have an age? Can, do you age? I wonder, is this zero zero unit? Can you die of old age? Hmm. Samika? Well, okay. Hmm, that's definitely going to have a significant impact on something, isn't it? Well, one way to pull it up. What's going to happen to us tomorrow? Are we going to succeed? Are we ever going to be able to hold hands and gaze into the night sky like this again? Hey, Samika. What? I heard from Sensei. That you wanted to do the mission all alone at first. I mean, it definitely sounded like something you'd uh, think of, but... Aren't you afraid? You're gonna be charging to the deepest part of the original hive tomorrow. Most people would be scared out of their mind. For yourself, huh? I couldn't say the same for a long time. Not until I had already caused a bunch of trouble by getting all angsty. I mean, that hasn't really ended, but okay. And acting like nobody else had any problems. You went through so much worse than I did, but you still found us such a simple, clear answer. You are really amazing. That is right. Yeah. Yeah. You sure are. Uh, I want in this war as soon as possible. Then I'll get rid of whatever made me a causality conductor and fix the other world. Oh, I am so confident this is going to somehow come up parallel. These uh, getting rid of the causality conductor. We're going to figure out what it is while like invading the original hive, and 
something it's gonna like change how how it goes down in the end something like Daku has to stay behind or something I feel like that that would be my prediction for how this is gonna go down hmm so when that happens you and I will have to I'm I know that. I know. <laughs> you weirdo. What are you apologizing for? Um, that's okay. That's okay. Kokuren-gun, Tokushinimbu Butai, A Zero One, Shosok. First Lieutenant Hayase. First Lieutenant Susumiya. I'm sorry it's taking us uh, so long to say goodbye. And I'm sorry. I can't fire the usual volleys for you. Since the operation is resting entirely on our shoulders, we were allowed a little bit of time to pay our respects. Unfortunately, we can't hold a proper funeral at the moment. This may not seem like much of a ceremony, but I hope you understand. You see, all the space's resources are being poured into something called Operation Cherry Blossom. It's going to be an all-out offensive on the original hive, turning the tide of the war in one fell swoop. Right now, the whole world is working as one to make it a success. We guys save the space from total annihilation. That's the only reason this operation is even going to happen. The possibilities brought forth by your sacrifices have given the rest of humanity a glimmer of hope for its future. All of us in A01 are going to make sure you didn't give your lives in vain. Sasha Chinkuji, Captain Sumi, Kashiwagi, First Lieutenant Hayase, First Lieutenant Suzumiya. Just watch us. We're going to make this operation a stunning success. And we're going to destroy the original hive and make it make it home safely. We'll never bring shame to the Valkyries. Or A01. And please, watch over Lieutenant Murakata and Lieutenant Kazuma. They're desperately fighting for their lives uh, right now. They're dumb enough to try joining you soon, so keep them back over to us, will you? <laughs> you know, I gotta say. I feel like Lieutenant Hayase would have ripped us a new one for giving her such a formal ceremony. <大丈夫よ。林中井だって神宮寺軍曹には頭が上がらないはずだもの。笑> <笑>そうであったな。嘘。白金って結構根性入ってるんだ。お、shit、you're そういえば白金。なんで千鶴のことを院長って呼ぶの? 
<laughs> we're gonna ha you got I hope you guys get to know the full story by the end of this so you can at least understand okay but you're the one who told me to call you that well then I'm not a real man I don't need to be a real man if I have to take on him dude I swear あ、私だけ名字。あ、やみなさんはまだ町だよ。私なんか名字の一文字だけですよ。しかも私が呼ぶときは名前に3付けしてでした。いや、this <笑><笑> yeah, all it is so fucking really weird looking back on if you don't have the context. そうだね。僕もタケルって名前で呼んでるから同じだね。Ah, oh, that part was your idea too. I didn't make you do anything. I mean, that's true. <laughs> Just call me fucking flight commander, come on. Ah, uh, I get it already. Can we talk about something else now? I was just yelling and stupid, okay? <laughs> you wanna go, punk? Yeah, it has only been fucking two months. Two months. It's not, it's, it's not even two, 2002 yet, my goodness. It's actually sort of ridiculous if you think about it. Placing Unlimited in all of it. Adding Unlimited does make it feel a bit more realistic since uh, you're building off the previous loop. To an extent. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much. I sentence you to 600 push-ups for insulting your superior. <laughs> I think you can wait. Huh? About the push-ups? Ah, Tama. Oh no, I, I, and I got it too. You as well. Okay, okay, okay. I just read it weird, uh, weirdly. Ah, why do you have to bring that up? Dude, I wish you'd give me a break. Is that an order? You always deserve yours. <laughs> Shit, I do have that leverage. Oh my. So, so, Ah, oh, she's keeping the mood really light because she knows how low the odds are that we'll make it back alive. Your sister just lost her life and you're still playing this role for us. You really are just like Tsun and I say. I'm the one who ought to be stopping, uh, stepping into her shoes, but apparently you were doing a lot more than just admiring her from afar. Everyone else here is acting casually to keep up, uh, to keep the hopelessness of the situation from sinking in. If it's this obvious, I guess we'll, we, uh, We've all still got a long way to go as surface pilots. We're trying our best, but it's definitely a little forced. Still, I think we've taken another step closer to Captain Asumi and Frisita and I say, no matter how small. Hmm? Uh, um, there's a couple directions I can imagine this going. Ah, uh, yeah, what is it? Yeah. Hmm? 
頑張った。Yeah. I think she did. Oh, so that's what she wanted. I'm the only one left. So, what happened to First Lieutenant Susan Mia? And I was the last person to speak to Lieutenant Hayase. Susan Mia knows even less than everyone else. Since she was in the medical block all this while, I have to tell everyone what happened. It's my job as a、uh, surface pilot. To give them a proper eulogy. I'm sorry, s u s a m i a I shouldn't have waited so long to tell you. Absolutely. Just as she swore as a member of the Valkyrie, she fought to her very last breath. The last thing I saw was just an image from the control room. I could see several. Warrior class right behind her. She didn't even try to run away. She just, she just kept trying to put in the shutdown code. She was unarmed. Our beta right behind her. Most people would have been overwhelmed by sheer terror. <laughs> First attempt, Susan May was incredible. But she stood her ground until the very last moment. She did everything she could to stop the reactor and save everyone on this base. Just like the Takaru from this world, who took on the soldier class barehanded to protect Mika. First Lieutenant Suzumiya did absolutely everything she could for all of humanity and for the man. Sheen, it's in the highest thing left. <laughs> Your sister was an amazing person. <laughs> When I saw what happened to her, I went straight for my 36 millimeter. Oh, I wanted to kill every last one of them for what they did. But first, Lieutenant h a i s e stopped me. She told me I couldn't damage the control room. Her best friend had been killed right before her eyes, and I'm, I'm sure she wanted to slaughter the baby just as badly as I did. But she stayed calm and used a wired connection to contact HQ. She told me that she was going to blow up the reactor and sent me up to Hangar 90 to tell you guys what was happening. Once I, I'd reported what was happening to the rest of you, I went back to find her. As soon as I reached the main shaft, I managed to contact her. Even though she was supposed to be detonating the S11 remotely, she went back down to the reactor. When she found out they'd、uh, only cut the,、uh, the detonation timer, she realized the reactors might have、uh, been a communication device for the beta. For some of the high say, wanted to keep any more secrets about Su-、uh, the Susanoo. Or alternative four from being revealed. So, she detonated the S11. In a way, the beta couldn't possibly prevent. <laughs> she refused to let that information leak. And waste the lives of everyone who sacrificed themselves for the future of humanity. And she told me she's doing the most she could, so I should do the same. The two of them were heroes. Every one of them. Every one of the Valkyrie senior officers. We're unbelievably courageous people. So, the. Mina, Jingu, Jigunso, and Kita, I read it on the. But the statue. Taya, Chui, and Hajina, I tataka, you snagane. So, the. Barukiris, or Makasarata, book touch, no shimedane. Haruko, your doki, and Nakamatachi. So, the. Yeah, They will come back eventually. It's not like everyone's dead. ちゃんと帰ってくるんだよ。スズミヤ。当然。作戦は成功させてね。まあ、任せるがよい。いつ次頼んだよ。スズミヤの分も暴れてくるよ。お願いね、早見ね。だから、スズミヤさんは安心して
タマセありがとう心配しないで茜さん僕たちは今までだって乗り越えてきたじゃないかそうだね鎧あなただけにバルキリーズを背負わせたりしない私たちは必ず戻ってくるわチズル約束だよ<笑>白金しっかりね I will みんなを Take care of what? なんでもない。スズメヤ。それより白金。ありがとう。うん。うん。お姉ちゃんと早瀬中尉の最後を見届けてくれて。二人のことを。みんなに話してくれて。ありがとう。Oh. I'm the one who ought to be thanking you, スズメヤ。え。If you hadn't asked me just now, my Wouldn't have tried to honor them in the way they deserved. So, Ja, Kondo, what does she know? I said, Chewie to one eight on the Hanasio Sirene. Sumia? I. I do hope that doing this will help her feel a little bit better. She's probably feeling like she has to, otherwise, she'd just be running away from her pain. One eight on the Hanasio Sirene, Mukashi Kokoniata, Teko Gun, the Kunden Gako, the Dea, the Ira, no Nakade. ライバルっていうのはちょっと違うんだけど競い合ったり励まし合ったりしながら一緒に頑張ってきたんだあの二人性格は正反対だったけどお互い補う部分が結構あって妙に気が合ってたみたいでさよりにもよって同じ男の人を好きになっちゃったんだってさあ、oh. you guys don't know that yet、oh, right. いくら気が合うからってそんなところまで一緒にしなくてもいいのにね。スズメヤ、I wonder why she got why she's going out of her way to tell us about their private life. Is it like when I told everyone Captain Sumi's reason for fighting? 早瀬ちゅいとお姉ちゃんは総選挙演習の事故で卒業が半年遅れたんだけど、その人はストレートで入管して A ゼロワンに配属されたの。Oh, he was. お互いの思いに気づいていたお姉ちゃんと早瀬中尉は、任官したら同時に告白しようって約束していたらしいんだけど、その人、二人が任官する20日前に、明星作戦で戦死しちゃったの。ああ、そうですね。ああ、そうですね。ああ、そうですね。ああ、そうですね。ああ、そうですね。ああ、そうですね。ああ、そうですね。ああ、そうですね。ああ、そうですね。ああ、そうですね。ああ、そうですね。Yeah, I've been suspecting as much in the end. Yeah. So they are going to settle it after the war ended. I thought they were risking their lives to protect humanity and the man they both loved. はみえて二人とも、新任の頃はいすみ隊員に、さんざん面倒かけて、かなりしごかれたらしくて。一年ぐらい前に、やっと立ち直れたんだよ。隊員は私たちのはるか上を行ってたからね。しかも姉妹でしょその道の大会は。私たちも、前はよく相談に乗ってもらったのね。そういう立場を持つ人間は、強引な取り。少々自信家のふりをするくらいがちょうどいいんだよ。早くあの日のね。あの人はとても臆病で繊細な部分を持っていたの。わお。They were always so on top of everything by the time we got here. Said I'm gonna cut out was here a year ago, wasn't she? She must have seen them at their lowest. 心の整理がついてからは二人してよく言ってた。どっちが先にいい男を見つけてその人を卒業するか勝負だって<笑>早く戦争を終わらせてその決着をつけなきゃねって<笑>でもあの二人本当は全然そんな気なかったみたい二人して
一緒に会いに行っちゃうんだもんね<笑>人類のために頑張ったお姉ちゃんに早瀬注意は本当にすごいと思うし心から尊敬してるでもそれが分かっていてもよく<笑>私の話はおしまい<笑>なんか変な話でごめんね、oh, just a little bit. いいえそんなことないわシュスミヤさんありがとう良い話であったそなたに感謝を早瀬注意と鈴宮注意にもそんなことがあったんだねなんか気が楽になるね<笑>そう言ってもらえると話した甲斐があったよ It's not like Lieutenant Tai saying to Zemir were simply looking for an excuse to sacrifice himself, right? And their reason for fighting wasn't as simple as wanting to protect the man they loved. So then, what were they really fighting for? For each other? Did you two want us to figure that out on our own? Yeah. Ah, oh, we need to sort out our things and write out our wills. Ma. Shinpin <laughs> 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 Well, no, I'm still not gonna write one. Hmm.私は。そうだな。各理由がなくなったのだ。うん。私は自らの意志で、自らのための戦いに赴くから。とでも言うべきか。たける。そして皆にも聞いてほしい。今言ったように、私はようやく物が為に戦うことを許され。いや、それは私の立場が変わったことの身ならず、心の内なるものの成長によってそこに至ったのだ。タケルがことあるごとは口にしている。斧が為であるがゆえ、他者や公の為に戦うという考え方。それを誠の意味で理解し、こうして心
Oh, no. Those two aren't gonna follow Maya's lead now, are they? We're gonna be here all fucking day. I can see Tama talking about her dad, but is Makoto seriously going to bring up Second Chief Yori? I can understand why you'd want to, but this isn't right. Whatever he did is not really directly related to your reasons for fighting, right? Besides, if I mean he tried to join in here. I say that you mean I. You were able to get through all of your pain without anyone else's help. Of course you'd understand. I mean, he's right. Let's hold off on that for now. <laughs> it's just, if we all start going around in a circle talking about this stuff, we're just gonna start feeling like this is the end or something. We just save all of it for when we come home. Right, I mean it? <laughs> I get why you guys would feel guilty about keeping secrets from people who trust you, but it doesn't mean that telling them uh, everything is going to he uh, help. Some things really are bef uh, better left unsaid. Yeah, how dare you? <laughs> nah, you guys didn't do anything wrong. It's just talking about this stuff right now is a little, you know. でも、さあ、もし万が一のことが<笑> Well, in any case, May can get away with it since she's second in command. You guys just have to wait your turn. <laughs> any basically good person would want to be honest and upfront with the people they care about. But letting people know how easily you feel about things that are not even your fault, well, that's just going to weigh pretty hard on them, too. I burn you guys a lot by letting my own feelings show too often, so I know that all too well. Yeah, make sure you're ready for me. Bye. It's fine, man, go on. <laughs> really, it's fine. You don't have anything to say, right? You don't have to say anything right now. All I need to do is fight for what you believe in, just like he did. Just like Section Chief Yori did. <laughs> See you uh, in simulator training. Yeah, have fun. Thanks, I mean it. You always know what to do. Hmm. Yeah, you're right about that. And if you still want to talk about it, you have to smile. That's a rule everyone who served with Senai say everyone who trained under Sergeant Jinguji should follow. Mm. Hey, Suzumiya. What? About the stuff you said about First Lieutenant Sai saying Suzumiya. Mm? Why did you fix something so personal? No, not really, but. <laughs> Wait, huh? So you brought it up for class rep and the others? Alright, alright already. Whoa, what just happened? She looks so serious. Eh, ah, that's what you wanted to say earlier. Susumiya. I'll leave it to me.
Leave it to me, huh? <laughs> ah, we still can't be too optimistic about the situation. Up until yesterday, we were so caught up in the hopelessness of it all, we couldn't even hide it. But now, I feel strangely confident. I'm not alone anymore. I have friends I can trust my life with, Kasumi and Samika, all fighting by my side. It's not just them, of course, Shiko Sensei, the CEO, Ms. Kisu, everyone on the base, and every surface pilot and soldier on this planet. Oh, you're gonna be fighting with us. I don't have to bear this burden alone. Every one of us is facing our own heavy personal battles, yet we're still rising to the challenge together. That's why I know we absolutely cannot fail. Ooh, 11 hours, eh? And that's... <laughs> probably a good place to end it for today. Who's Valkyrie 1 now? It's just Zero Valkyrie 1 now? Did we all get new type, like, things? Okay, well, whatever. I'll figure that out next time. I mean, I, this is feeling like the lead up to the climax, basically. Everyone gets their final personal stuff, a bunch of personal scenes. Uh, someone mentioned something about um, whichever ending you get, there's another extra scene. That'll pop up, I imagine it'll probably be before we leave. I'd be surprised if it didn't, but other than that, yeah. I have a feeling a lot more than we think is going to come up and be settled plot-wise in the uh, original Hive. I'd be a little disappointed if we didn't get like a much more significant explanation of what the beta was by the end of it, too. I can imagine there just being a revelation, and I I'd be shocked if it wasn't tied in to um, the um, reason Taku is a uh, causality conductor and stuff like that, so I guess we'll see. Time will tell now. So, I'll see you all next time. Drive safely, everyone. 